Hello children, Sai Ram. So today we are not going to start with any new topic, no new video, but it is a little bit new for you. Let's see what it is. Yes, it is English Internal Assessment. Okay, so it is your internal assessment. So this video contains all the instructions which you are supposed to follow when you are giving your assessment. Okay, it is nothing but your orals. So internal assessment. Now what will be included in this? Let's find out. Okay, so these are the three topics on which you will be assessed. Okay, now this is very much part of your essay one. Okay, essay one orals. Fine. So what are they? The first one is reading. The next is poetry recitation. And then assignment. Okay, so you have three topics here. Reading, poetry recitation and assignment. So on these three you will be assessed. Now what will be there for reading? For reading you have to prepare yourself for lesson number five. And which is that? The magic wrap. Okay, so lesson five is the magic wrap. So this will be there for your reading. Now how to do the reading? You have done till fourth standard reading, right? Teacher is to take reading in your class. So now how it will be this time in fifth standard now? So first you will start with greetings. Means what? Wishing the teacher. So uh, you can say good morning miss or good afternoon miss. Up to you. So first you will start your reading. Before starting with the lesson, you will start with the greetings, your wishes. Okay, so you will wish the teacher. So that is greetings for you. Then you will have the self-introduction. Okay, you will have the self-introduction. Now in self-introduction, what will be there? First will be the name. So you have to first tell your full name. Keep it in mind. Not your half first name or the last name. It will not do. So you have to tell your full name. Then which standard you are in and which division. Okay. So first you will give your name. Okay. Your voice should be clear enough. It should be audible. So you have to first introduce yourself by introducing your name. Then comes the standard and division. And then comes the SID number. Okay. So in this way you have the, uh, you have to start with your lesson. What is that? Name. Your name. Full name. Then your standard and division. Then your SID number. Okay. It's very important. Then you will start with name of the lesson. Okay. Which is the lesson now? Lesson number 5, the magic wrap, isn't it? So, you will first read the name of the lesson. Lesson number 5, the magic wrap. Then, you will also mention the page number. Okay? So because uh, the lesson is big enough, right? So, from where you are going to start, that you have to decide. You will start with the name of the lesson and the page number. But from that page number, you can select any paragraph. Okay, from that page. Okay, so name of the lesson. After that, you will mention the page number. And from that page, you can select any paragraph. Up to you it is. Okay, so you have to select any paragraph. And you have to start reading. Now, you will read with proper intonation. Voice modulation. Expression. Pronunciation. Punctuation etc. Okay. So, if you remember in your calendar, your teacher is to take your reading, right? And the column is there and she is to enter your marks, right? So, all these were there. So, in this way, you have to read it very nicely, very properly. It should be audible enough. Then, the intonation. What is the meaning of intonation? Okay. The way you are going to read. So, your tone while reading, your pitch, voice modulation, how you are bringing varieties in your the way you are reading 
that will be also considered so variation expression again okay you will not just read out blankly and get over with it you have to express what you are reading so there should be proper expression on your face okay then the pronunciation just read it correctly don't be in a hurry okay so properly slowly now you have to pronounce the word and then you will go for the punctuation marks also they are very important okay so wherever you have to take the uh, uh, short pause you will use the comma is there right so you will take the short pause one more pause little longer so that will be the full stop you know about punctuation isn't it so you will use the punctuation here okay from through your expression your voice modulation i'll come to know uh, how you are using the punctuation marks while reading so again they are also very important so you will read with proper intonation voice modulation expression pronunciation punctuation etc okay then now when you will be reading for how long you will be reading the time duration is 2 minutes okay so though you will start from that one paragraph suppose that paragraph is shorter you will not end it there you have to keep on reading till the clock ticks 2 minutes okay so just uh, you have to uh, start reading from the page number you have mentioned and you have to keep on reading till the 2 minutes get over so you have to record your video so while reading you will be recording yourself not only audio video okay it should i i have to see your faces also i want to see your faces also while you are reading then only i'll come to know your expressions isn't it so for 2 minutes you will be reading okay you will not stop in between continuous 2 minutes okay now 2 2 3 seconds here and there will do okay not exactly 2 minutes means without suppose a full stop is there after 2 more seconds but the 2 minutes got over so no need to stop there you can take that 2 extra seconds so that you can reach that full stop okay so don't leave the sentence in between complete that sentence and then you can stop your video follow so for how many uh, minutes you are going to read 2 minutes okay and all these things okay right from the greetings you are going to record your video right till the time gets over for 2 minutes followed what i'm saying you will start your video from where from the greetings okay and from there you will start reading continuously non stop and you will just wait you will stop when the 2 uh, minutes are over you can take uh two uh, sorry two second two to three seconds extra or less also it's okay fine so remember you have to record your video and when you will submit it on 12th august 2020 okay so submission is 12th august 2020 now how to submit it no need of coming to school okay so here again a link will be uh provided okay and about it how to upload the videos the details will be provided at the earliest to you okay so till then you just keep record your video and keep it ready as soon as you get the link where you have to upload your video you have to just submit it to us okay follow till here so that is reading you followed yes now let's move ahead for the second one that is the poetry recitation that is poem right so which poem is there coming for your uh, assessment it is number 3 whistle away so this poem you have to recite and you have to recite full poem okay not only one stanza or like that a few lines no you have to recite full poem okay now how again how you will start the same way you started with reading same way you are going to start here you will be starting with greetings right good morning good afternoon miss then you will have the self introduction which includes your full name then your standard and division and your sid number 
okay so you will start with these two points greetings and the self introduction then you will start with the name of the poem so you have to read out again the name of the poem and then name of the poet now again if it is mentioned if it is given there in your book now i think whistle away uh, poet's name is not mentioned there so no need of mentioning the poet's name here so simply you will read the name of the poem then you will recite with proper expressions and action also okay so how you are going to recite with proper expressions how the poems are read the same way okay and some in between some action also okay and you have to re, uh, recite full poem you have to recite full poem follow so how you are going to do first you will start with what you are going to start with greetings then comes the self introduction then you will start with the poem's name poet's name is not mentioned so we leave that then you have to recite with proper expressions and action and of course it should be audible to me okay so you have to learn the full poem and what you have to do you have to again record your video while you are reciting the poem you have to record it from where from the greetings till your poem gets over okay so you will start with greetings good afternoon miss or uh, good morning miss and then you will start with your self introduction poem's name and then you will start with the poem and till the poem ends you will keep recording your video now again when to submit 12th august 2020 so again you have to submit it on 12th august only okay so your reading and recitation you have two videos here okay reading and recitation poetry recitation two separate videos should be there okay don't attach them so two videos you'll be making and when you are going to submit on 12th august and how to submit you will get the details about it uh, very soon followed now comes the third one assignment now what it is it is outline story outline story now you very much know what is outline story right we have done this topic in our english composition so you know how to write a story that too with the help of the outline which will be given to you so how you are going to write your story should be handwritten okay you have to write it neat and tidy and writing okay i want to check your handwriting also whether you are just uh, typing or uh, you just uh, neglecting your handwriting that i'll come to know when i'll see your uh, your assignment the story okay so i'm going to see how good you are in handwriting whether you are practicing at home or you are just living it so your story should be handwritten you have to write it with your own hand parents help you will not take okay so you have to write it and you will give a nice title to the story and you will also give a moral okay so you also have to write the moral of the story what you have learned from the story what the what is the teaching of that story okay so the three things which you have to keep it in mind the story should be handwritten you have to write the title and moral also now let's see which is the outline given to you so here is the outline a boy falls in bad company father brings apples put them in the cupboard places a rotten apple among next day all apples rotten teaches a lesson then moral so this is the outline which is given with the help of this outline you know how you have to use each uh, point which is given in a logical proper 
order okay and then you will make one nice story out of it okay so that is the story outline for you okay you can find it out i think it is very easy you must have uh, heard this story also so write it uh, very nicely properly go through it again check grammatical errors if any mistakes you have done don't just uh, scribble there you have to just put a line through it and rewrite that word okay just don't write up on that word and don't do the correction there and there you will be using pen not pencil okay pencil you could erase and write it again but now here you are using pen so you will if any mistake is there in your spelling you will just put a line through that word and then you will rewrite that word again you are not going to correct it there only follow so it should look neat and tidy also your work should be neat and tidy uh, tidy okay it carries uh, marks isn't it so just do it properly follow so these are the three assignments so again the submission the story submission is also on 12th august fine and how to submit it now you can't record the story right because you are writing it so how you will be submitting you have to submit it in pdf form okay you have to submit in pdf form so you will just take a pic and then you will convert it into pdf form okay now how all these things you are supposed to do again uh, it will be uh, the uh, details about the uploading and about this pdf or everything will be provided at the earliest to you so your work is to keep it ready and as soon as you get the link how the procedure how to go you will just upload it clear till here so this is your assignment your this is your assignment right so all these three topics are there for your internal assessment for essay 1 reading poetry recitation and the assignment now it is i think it is very much clear which lesson and which poem is there for reading and recitation and how to read how to recite the poem fine and how to submit it so all the best and do well okay bye